Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I will uh, show you how to create your own rest assured project with IntelliJ starting from scratch. In one of my videos I already showed you a full uh, rest assured uh, project that is made with Java because rest assured it's a Java library and how you could use that one for your own project. Now let's start from scratch. As you can see, I've already opened IntelliJ Community Edition. We will create a new project. We will go with uh, Maven. Yeah, we just have to wait a little to load. Okay, uh, we will name it Demo Project. Okay, and finish. Okay, let me zoom in. Okay, as you can already see, since this is uh, yeah, it's my first time opening IntelliJ, so we'll skip the tips. Um, as you can already see, we have here the demo project. By default, you only get some uh, packages and the POM uh, file. This is where you would put all your dependencies. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, what do you need to do? Well, first of all, you need to uh, search for what dependencies you need. So in this case, I'm going to open a new browser. We're going to go to google.com. OK, and here we're going to look for uh, testng dependencies. OK, as you can already see, we are uh, at the main so let's uh, add some uh, parameters here because we're gonna need some we're gonna need a public uh, string we're gonna need a url of course of course then we're gonna need public uh, this is uh, I think api key yeah which is required Okay, and then we're going to need a big uh, string uh, API host. Let's define all these. Okay, so we've added all the needed uh, variables. Now let's just uh, put them in our request, of course. Let's start. Um, we're gonna use some headers. The first one is just a second. I'll copy it from their site. Okay. Of course, I'm gonna format everything to look nice. Uh, just a second to add the API key. Okay, Mesh API with capital A, API host, get URL. Okay, then we're going to need to see what happened. Response.as string for now, I think it's better as string. And let's see run the test and of course uh, something failed so let's do some debugging so um, not here here log not all because we want to see if all the parameters are transmitted correctly. Okay, we're not going to close the bracket, then we'll go with run. As you can already see, this is what I wanted to show you just for the demo. We have a get, we have on the specified URL, we have the following uh, headers as mentioned here. And of course, I can already see what happened here. We're missing a parameter. We need a new header. We're not going to add a new 
new one just for the new variable I mean and the value is true let's see now if we run oops an error occurred I think their site is down for now but yeah as you can already understand this was just the purpose of the demo so I can show you how easy it is to create for some reason their site is uh, down right now I mean the rapid API site but uh, as you can see this was really easy to do and in under 10 minutes you can uh, make your own request with uh, rest assure for example yeah I know this is a Maven project so you can extend it you can create your XML and start your tests in, from that XML put up there and have everything really nice and tidy uh, besides this uh, you can see how easy it is to add a header to add some logging if you want to add uh, just for the purpose of debugging you want to see everything that you sent as uh, parameters if you sent anything as parameters and uh, that's it thank you for watching catch you guys in the next one bye